again. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with AI. Today we're not cooking with food, but we're cooking up something equally delicious. Beautiful artwork made with AI. Artificial intelligence? More like art! Official intelligence, am I right? Now, in my last video, you just walked into my kitchen and we started talking. I really enjoyed that. I can't believe how big the kids are now. Time really flies, doesn't it? But in the last video, I mentioned that using just one ingredient is great. But you don't always want a dish made with just one ingredient. You can use complementary ingredients to get a real masterpiece that your neighbors would be jealous of. The same goes for AI tools. Welcome to the Mindstorm channel. It's a channel all about using AI tools and software and marketing your product or services. Or YouTube videos, or yourself, or even your funny but nosy neighbor who's always looking over the fence. Today in our AI kitchen, instead of pots and pans, I'm going to use my keyboard and mouse to whip up a delicious dish of design. The secret ingredient? Kittle AI. Just like a master chef uses spices and herbs to bring out the best flavors in their dish, Kittle AI will help you bring out the best in your designs, no matter what your skill level is. From creating eye-catching merch designs to stunning social media posts and logos and posters, Kittle AI will help you elevate your designs to a new level. And nope, I'm not getting paid to say that. Using Kittle's new AI tool, just type in any prompt you can think of, and Kittle will provide you with a beautiful piece of art. You can create vector icons to use with logos and labels, and easily change the color with one click. You can create merch designs using their cool clip art styles. You can remove the background with just one click. They even have mock-up templates you can use to show off what your designs will look like printed. Now, let me give you a sneak peek at what's cooking on my stove today. I'm going to show you how to mix and match Kittle AI with other online tools to create digital magic. Okay, AI fans, now we're going to mix one giant scoop of Kittle with a cup full of an online print shop called Gelato. With Gelato, you can create your own designs and place them on t-shirts, phone cases, and mugs. So you can see where I'm going with this. We're going to whip up a tasty design in Kittle and put it onto things we can sell. Here's the gist of how it works. Once you've created your design, you'll use Gelato to place it onto a t-shirt, for example. Then, your customer will visit your online store and order the item. Gelato will receive the order and the design will be printed on your chosen product automatically. And before the order actually gets shipped out, a real person will look over the design to make sure it fits and is at a high enough resolution. Gelato has a huge network of printing shops, so no matter where your customer is in the world, they'll get the item pretty dang fast. Gelato will print and package up your designed product and ship it right to the customer. You don't have to do anything except create the design. You can use the same design and apply it to mugs, phone cases, and most especially, wall art. The designs you can create with Kittle are just outstanding, and others have made real money selling real products that they put Kittle designs on. It's super easy to use and modify the templates. You can export your designs and use them on other print shops too, like Redbubble or Zazzle. Okay, fans, as Martha Stewart says, it's time to up the game! <laughs> I have no idea if Martha Stewart says that, but it's time to up the game! Kittle is terrific, but just like any dish, it might need a few spices. Some foods need a little oregano, some need a full-on jar of sauce. There are hundreds of templates to choose from, but what if you have a brand or a company that you just can't see in the Kittle templates? For example, what if your brand is all about baby unicorns and you want to create a t-shirt design to reflect that? So we're going to hop over to our kitchen pantry and take out a giant scoop of mid-journey. Midjourney is probably the best imaging generator on the web, and for our dish, we want the best ingredients. So, let's just type in something like a baby unicorn t-shirt design, and let's see what we get. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad, not quite what I want, 
and I just don't know all of the things Mid Journey can do or how to prompt it all correctly. So I'm going to hop over to the kitchen pantry again and take out a big old spoonful of ChatGPT. We're going to let ChatGPT do the work for us. And with this method I'm about to show you, you'll be able to create dozens of t-shirt designs in minutes. First, we need to tell Chat about Mid Journey and what the formula is for a prompt. So I'm going to type in, here is a Mid Journey prompt formula. The image we're prompting will tell it to include the style of the artwork, mood of the artwork, and the lighting style. And at the end, we have to tell ChatGPT to make sure that each prompt must always end with t-shirt design graphic, vector, contour, white background. Then, so it doesn't go off on a tangent, ask it to please respond with yes if you understand this formula. Great, ChatGPT understands. So let's try this out. Give me five prompts for a baby unicorn design. Using this formula, the image must be cute and colorful. Whoa, look at that. ChatGPT understood the recipe assignment and it's actually writing the prompts for us. Oh my landies. Okay, so now all we have to do is copy and paste the prompts into mid-journey. Let's see how it all turns out. I can't even finish copying and pasting. Mid-journey is already drawing. Just think how many designs you can copy and paste with this method. Ah, oh, beautiful. I really like this one. It'll make a great mug or t-shirt design. Okay, so we have two more spices and seasonings to put into the design process. This is going to be an epic meal. We're now going to visit a site called Vance.ai so we can remove the background from our unicorn graphic. Let's just drag and drop our unicorn onto the background removal canvas. In a few seconds, our background is removed and we can download the new transparent background image to our desktop. And the other spice we're going to add to this design is another AI tool called Vectorizer.ai. As of this video, this product is in beta and it's a free tool! It'll turn your regular image into a vector SVG image. The difference is that the PNG image that Midjourney outputs, if you blow it up to make it larger, the image gets very pixelated the larger you make it. But you'll notice the SVG image stays nice and sharp no matter how big you blow it up. Now the final icing on the cake, so to speak, is to head back to Kittle and find a template we want to use. Here we go! This one is kind of dark and scary, but I like the template. We just have to modify it a bit. Let's delete Scary Tiger here and drag and drop our cute little unicorn. Ah, oh, see how tiny it is? No worries, because we created an SVG. All we have to do is make it bigger. No pixelation. Now we can easily edit the text. Super fun things like change the font. And edit the colors. It's so dang easy. You can download everything we've created so far for free, but if you want the background removed from the design, then get a premium account. Honestly, it's totally worth it, and their pricing is super reasonable. And finally, take the graphics out of the oven and upload it into Gelato or another favorite print-on-demand company, and you'll have awesome sweatshirts, mugs, phone cases, and even embroidered tote bags. I hope you found this video super helpful. If you did, bake me in a like and a subscribe K, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about any of this. In the meantime, I gotta go get my alligator out of the... crock pot.